Hi, we are going to study about lime stabilization. First of all, let's start with soil stabilization. What does soil stabilization mean? It is clear from the name itself that soil stabilization is a procedure of stabilizing the soil. In details, it is a procedure in which a special soil is added or removed or a cementing material or other chemical material is added to a natural soil and this process can improve the properties of soil. Now let's have a look on the types of stabilization. Types of stabilization include mechanical stabilization, cementing, physiochemical alteration, aggregates and dispersants, void filling and consolidation. Among these, lime stabilization comes under chemical stabilization. So what is chemical stabilization? Chemical stabilization consists of bonding the soil particles with the cementing agent that is produced by a chemical reaction within the soil. Let me repeat. It consists of bonding the soil particles with the chemical sorry with the cementing agent that is produced by a chemical reaction within the soil. Now we are going to our topic lime stabilization. The basic types of lime are high calcium quick lime, dolomite quick lime, hydrated high calcium lime, normal hydrated dolomite lime and pressure hydrated dolomite lime. Here for the lime stabilization we commonly use hydrated lime or the slaked lime. It is used in the combination with certain other admixtures namely fly ash, cement, bitumen etc. There are two types of chemical reactions that take place when lime is added to the wet soil. The first one is the colloidal type of reaction. It takes place immediately after lime is added and it involves any of the processes such as Ion exchange of calcium for the iron naturally carried by the soil or a depression of double layer on the soil colloid and this is because of the increasing cation concentration in the pore water or an expansion of the double layer of the soil colloids. Then the second chemical reaction that takes place in the process is the reaction between calcium and alumina or silica. We know calcium is the component of lime. This lime reacts with the reactive alumina or silica causing the cementing action. Let us see the changes that happen in the features of lime stabilized soil. First one is the change in soil plasticity. Lime increases the plasticity index of low plastic soil or it decreases the index for the soil which is highly plastic. This change in plasticity makes the soil more friable that means easily be powdered and also make it easy to handle. Then second feature is the reduction in the maximum compacted density. Then increase in the optimum molding water content and the last or the overall effect of lime stabilization is the increase in the strength of soil. The following are the construction sequence of lime stabilized soil. First step is to scarify the base that means to break up the surface of soil or pavement. Second step is to pulverize the soil. Then lime is spread over the soil. After spreading the lime we have to mix the lime and soil. Fifth step is the addition of water. If necessary add water. This is to obtain the optimum moisture content. Then the mixture is compacted and then shaped. After shaping it is allowed for curing. An important thing to consider during this process is that it should be kept moisturized always and also traffic free for at least 5 days. And the last step is the addition of wearing surface. So this is all about lime stabilization. Now let's see about fly ash stabilization. I have already mentioned that 
flyage admixture is used along with the lime for the stabilization process and flyage is generally used in two ways first way is the stabilization with either lime or cement and aggregate this gives a mixture lfa cfa or lcfa depending on the component this used for base or sub base course of payment and the second way is stabilizing with cement lime and flyage it creates a less permeable stiff fall layer and reduces the effect of shrinkage and reduce long term maintenance so the topic is over thank you